All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Team of the Year promo that is coming out on Tuesday. Now, whenever there is a new promo that comes out, a lot of the top cards that you can get for free or as an NAT from solos, for example, a lot of those uh, power-up cards end up skyrocketing. So this video is actually about guessing or predicting some of those possible power-ups that might be skyrocketing and kind of making an investment in them. Now, this is my best, basically, um, prediction. Um, now, I'm going off a couple of things, cards that are due for an upgrade based on uh, their last upgrade in Madden and where the cards that are coming out at this point in the game are. Um, certain cards that, um, based on their stats for the season, should be in consideration. And, uh, I mean, let's be honest, Madden is a little bit more about um, names. So, if a card or a player doesn't really have a card or is not really in Madden or doesn't have power-ups, then, I mean, he's kind of useless to us. Um, Madden likes to go off of big names, and if they've been in previous games and previous uh, promotions and already had big cards, there's a good chance that they will continue to get upgrades. So that's another thing that's going into consideration here. But um, the main thing is, NAT cards, um, when they're given to you, and the team of the year usually gives you two, at least, based on previous years. You get one from solos, usually, and then you usually get um, one from the team of the week collectibles. If you have, I believe, 14 of the 17 for every week that you've been doing it, then you get one of these team of the year cards right away. And it's usually not a choice of any of them. I think it's usually a choice between one of three. They give you, last year, I think what it was is they gave you one offensive, one defensive, and one specialist. Uh, option in the fantasy pack and then you got to choose the one that you wanted but anyways when you have all these NAT cards that you get that are really good and they might be on your team for the rest of the year those power-ups are gonna skyrocket so we're gonna talk about each position that I can think of like two anywhere from one two three some even five possibilities that could get it and I'm gonna kind of Give them to you, the reasons why I think they're going to get them. I'm going to show you their power up prices that are a real bargain. And I'm going to really highlight certain ones that I just think are a given. Like the best, the absolute number one chance that they're going to be the ones to get the uh, upgrade. Uh, because I think those ones are the least risk. And I mean, if they get them, then it's going to be high reward for sure. But before we get into it, just... Realize that don't do this if it's going to tie up all your coins. You're not willing to lose them because, I mean, you're probably not going to lose a ton except for the tax on these if you try to sell them back and they don't get the upgrade. But at the same time, if you don't have a ton of coins, don't tie up all your coins in this because then how are you going to make your coins back, right? So only do this if you're comfortable with where your coins stand. I'm well over a million coins. I don't care if I invest, I don't know, 100, 200k, it's not going to make a difference to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay, getting right into it, quarterback. Um, I think there's three real good options here. We're going to start with Deshaun, I spelled his name wrong, Watson. So his last one was the Autumn All-Stars, and he's got a 93 overall card, okay? Now, a lot of these cards that are coming out are 95, 96, some even 97. And I believe the Team of the Year cards will be 95 to 97. So that's my guess. If that's what they were last year. It would make sense. Um, mind you, I think only the two or three top cards were 97s. The most of them were 96s the previous years. And then the specialists were like 95s because... They're usually just for special teams. They're usually just fast players or kickers, punters, whatever. Um, so going from there, we're going to look at this power up. And it's going for 9.6K, which is actually quite a bit. But if he's going for 9.6K, 
now and he gets it, I can't see him going for under 20k. I personally can't. He could be going for more. Now, the other thing to consider here is this is just the average price that he's selling for. So you very well can just like continuously check throughout the day and hopefully get one for more around five, six K. And then it's a way bigger jump and uh, profit margin and also way less of a risk for you. So, I mean, only buy these if you think it's worth it. And as you can see, this has actually gone up recently. So 60% increase. So like, I, I'm thinking a lot of people are thinking the same thing I am and just starting to buy them up. Okay, now the other thing to look at here is obviously he is actually the passing leader from this past season. So there's a very good chance, especially with how little help he had, that he's in a insane consideration with 33 TDs and 7 interceptions. Um, 112 quarterback rating. I mean, what more can you ask from the guy? And he's got a 93, so he could get it. Um, my second choice, and it's funny because he actually was the quarterback last year for Team of the Year, is Russell Wilson. He's only got a 92 overall card. I don't think it'd be that crazy for him to get it two years in a row. His power up is 5.5k. It's actually on the rise too, so try start trying to grab these mind you it's still the weekend so i mean a lot of these cards and a lot of people will be just selling off a bunch of stuff so these might go up or down just wait and try to get them for as cheap as possible again if he gets it that's probably a 20k card um power up card that you're selling later and he is what is this 10th one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh nine so he's ninth uh 105.1 pass rating 40 tds 13 interceptions um it could be either one of them i think it's about 50 50 between these two guys because i will go over one more player that i think it could be but it's unlikely because i think they have something else planned for him and he's got a high overall card i would say deshaun watson is more worthy for this card but Russell Wilson is just right there, and he's only got a 92 overall, so it could be him. They don't always go with the obvious choice. Now, my third player that I think it could be is Aaron Rodgers. I mean, he very well could be the MVP, but he's still in the playoffs. He's still in the playoffs, and he could be the MVP. He could be the Super Bowl MVP. There's so many cards that he could still get. I don't think it makes sense for them to use this card on him. Usually, they go team of the year. They pick players that aren't still in the running to get all these crazy cards in the playoffs, but had amazing seasons that need to be celebrated. So I don't think it's Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is also a 94 from his the 50 card. I don't think it's him, but there's a slight chance. And the rest of the guys, I just don't see it. I don't see Matt Ryan getting it with the losing record and whatever, um, even though he's got good stats. I don't see it being Brady. He just got a 95. Mahomes has a 95, and he's still in the playoffs, so he could very well get another card. Josh Allen, same thing, 95, still in the playoffs. Justin Herbert, I think what they're going to do is go, um, I think he's a rookie, right? So I think they would give him the the rookie of the year or some of the, one kind of some one of the award, awards cards. So I just don't see it. Kirk Cousins, I don't see it. Rivers, they, they actually just released his uh, his uh, tribute card for his whole career, which is a limited edition. Why would they give him another one? Just leave it as it is. He just got a crazy card. So I think that's really it. I think it's really between Deshaun Watson and Russell Wilson. Okay, moving on to running backs. This one's a little bit harder to guess. Okay, so Derrick Henry would make sense, except... He just got his Christmas card. I mean, there's a slight chance he might still get it, but I mean, he can get a lot of uh, different cards. Uh, I'm going to assume it's not him. Uh, Dalvin Cook. I think he is my number one choice here for running backs as he is the second leading rusher by quite a bit. Um, 16 TDs. Crazy. Um, 
And his last card is, I believe, a 91. 90. He's only got a 90. That's crazy. This guy needs a card. So that's my number one choice. I think Dalvin Cook will get it. Um, what's his power up at? His power up is going up to 6.3. I think people kind of just know that that's one of the top options. Um, Jonathan Taylor, don't think so. He just got a 95 from Team of the Week. Aaron Jones, very well, might be an option. I wrote him down. But he's got a 92. So I don't think he's as big of an important card to do as Dalvin Cook. But um, he's up there too. Um, I don't, does he have a power up? Aaron Jones, power up. Pretty cheap, 2.7K. I mean, you could probably get him for way less than that. So, I mean, if you're putting in like one, 1.5K, and he goes up to 15K or 10K, I mean, what, that's 8,000, you, I don't know. Do the math. Like, you do 10 of those, that's 80K. Am I doing that right? Yeah, I think that's right. So that's just like really quick, easy money. So, just do it. Um, if you do, if he doesn't get anything, guess what? Packers are still in the playoffs. There's a good chance he gets another card anyway, and you got his power up on the cheap. So th that one is a little bit more do it at your own risk. But I just I don't see how he doesn't get another card with him being a 92. He's in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, moving on from there, I got three others. I don't know how confident I am in the other three, but their power ups go for almost nothing. So I might just buy five of each and call it a day. Um, my first random one is Nick Chubb. Um, Montgomery just got a 95 from Team of the Week, so he's not in there. Uh, I don't know about Robinson. I'm just not going to risk it. Um, Kamara just got a crazy card from the Zero Chill. Kenyon Drake has a 93, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, CMC has a 95 from the Christmas promo as well. So I'm going to go Nick Chubb. He's up there for rushing. His last card is a 90, so he's due for an upgrade. Uh, he's got team of the year last year, actually, so it wouldn't be that crazy for him to get it again. Um, his power up is 1.8k, so I'm like I said, I'm gonna probably buy five. So if he gets a crazy upgrade and whatever else, sell it, sell it off. I think I have some in my binder as well. Okay, moving on, we've got Josh Jacobs. Uh, he's got a blitz card, 92. It's kind of a while ago. Um, I think it's just like a card for Raiders theme teams and. Yeah, I just think that, like, there's a chance they might give it to him just because of that. And I picked the wrong one. I thought that was his power-up. Uh, does he not have a power-up? Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, cross that one off the list. Apparently he doesn't have a power-up card. That's interesting. Unless they give... But... Okay, just ignore that one because I guess he does not have a power up and that's weird to me, but whatever. Um, I don't believe that the sets for team of the week or team of the year have power ups included. So if he doesn't have a power up now, he probably won't be in the promo. Okay, and the last one, this is kind of just for me and because I'm a Cowboys fan, but Zeke, he's, his last upgrade, it, no. Is an 89. I mean, come on. That was the first promo in the entire game. I know he didn't have an amazing season, but bro, he didn't have Dak. And his O-line was in absolute shambles. And he still finished with 21 yards under 1,000 and a backup quarterback playing. So, like, I mean, it is what it is. The other thing is, like, you got to remember is... This team is kind of moving away from running the ball constantly. You have a crazy good quarterback, so the scheme was more centered on passing with three amazing wide receivers. So, 
yes, he didn't have the best season. He didn't have a terrible season. It's just because it's Zeke and you expect more. But I think this is the second time in his career that he hasn't hit 1,000 yards. Good reasons for both those years. The other year he had six uh, game suspension. That's the other reason he didn't hit 1,000 yards. So it is what it is. Down season, I mean, you don't have your best player playing in Dak. So it is what it is. Um, I know it wouldn't be a super popular pick, but they don't always go with what you expect. And, I mean, Cowboys themed teams could use them. So maybe. Just outside shot. That's more me hoping, but it is what it is. Moving on to wide receivers. I think this one is pretty simple. I think it's Stephon Diggs or uh, Devontae Adams. Now, the one thing is, though, those two cards are still in the playoffs. Those two players are still in the playoffs, so they could just get later upgrades through the playoff system. So they're the most deserving. They have the best stats. They are both due for an upgrade. As you can see, Diggs is a 92, way too low. And Adams is an 89, which is ridiculous. So, especially with the season he's had, um, the only thing is they might have him saved for something else. and both these players and they also have them both in the playoffs so they could get future upgrades through that but i still think either way it's a low risk high reward uh thing to get their power-ups because if they don't get their upgrades here they're gonna get them they've had amazing seasons there's no way that they're not getting crazy updates and then their power-ups are gonna go up anyway so i'm gonna invest in these for sure uh Hoping they drop a bit because 7K is a little bit much, but it is what it is. Moving on. See, wide receiver, they usually pick multiple. I think they pick three, and sometimes the specialist is from there as well. So I'm going to throw out a little bit of a guess here, but I think it's a good one. I'm going to say Tyler Lockett gets the card because his last one is a 91 overall. He's gotten quite a few upgrades, but they've only been going up by one or two. He's really deserving. He's what, uh, fifth receiver or sixth receiver because these two guys are tight ends. Um, and he's a punt return, kick return guy. So I think he'd be an easy slide in there at the specialist position. They might choose someone else, but I mean, it's just a good way to give us a good card that I can actually do both instead of just giving us a guy that's just going to be used for returns that nobody really cares about. So I think Tyler Lockett is a good choice here. Um, let me just show you quick that he's only got a 91 Tyler Lockett right there. He's actually still on my team. He's really good. Um, I don't know what his power up is, but it can't be that high. 1.5 K. I mean, like, why would you not invest in that? Especially with how low it is. And he's on an amazing season. He does kick returns as well. And the Seahawks are pretty popular. So I just... I think it's an easy choice. Now my last more for sure one I would say is DeAndre Hopkins. He's had a great year. He switched teams. Um, stats wise, he's second in receiving and he's got, I mean, he's low on touchdowns is what it is. Um, I would still give it to him. I mean, you're still giving Julio these crazy cards when it's, uh, when he's low on uh, TDs. And I mean, like that's not all you should go off of. 1,400 yards is a crazy year. He deserves it. Um, his last card is a 92. As a, you can see, his power-up is 3.1K. You can easily probably get him for 2K. He'd be a great card. So I would invest. Okay, now moving on from that, I'm going to put in two honorable mentions. One is Allen Robinson. He's down here. Is fourth in receiving behind the if you take out the two tight ends. Um 1250 yards, it's pretty crazy. Six TDs is what it is. Doesn't have the best quarterbacks. He's still putting up numbers. Sorry, Bears fans. Um Yeah, I think he's deserving a card. Okay, if I could just spell his name. Uh 92. Automaces. 
that's uh, been quite a while. Uh, a couple of the other autumn cards are just getting upgrades like Patrick Peterson. So I think it's about time. He is probably pretty cheap. Hold on. He's not showing up. I believe he does have a power up. Yeah, there it is. 71 overall. 1K. He had a couple of them. I really think they are going to give him some kind of card at some point. For 1K, it's very low risk. Okay. Now, this one again. I'm a Cowboys fan. Sorry. Amari Cooper. Was he top 10 receivers? Cowboys are popular. He, I mean, he's doing this with a backup quarterback, right? Like, and his last upgrade was a 91, and it was a limited edition. Like, he really hasn't been given any love this year other than that one limited, and I think that was just by chance. Um, and frankly, like, a 91 is just not usable anymore. So, at least give us our top receiver. You haven't really given... Um, C.D. Lamb any upgrades either. He's still an 86. That was rookie premiere. It's completely useless pretty much all year. Um, I think we are due something. And you pick three receivers anyway. If you're not going to pick... Mind you, I'm saying this as if they don't use Stephon Diggs or Devontae Adams. Because if they're not using those cards and they're saving them for playoff promo, then you still got to fit four four cards. So, I mean, like, I gave you four options there. So And Tyler Lockett, I think, would be the special teams guy there. So... That's why I'm saying this. All right, moving on. This one's, I think, just <laughs> easy. So Darren Waller, fourth in receiving, if you include him with the receivers. First for tight ends. Uh, sorry, second for tight ends. Kelsey, if we're going by yards, Kelsey's ahead of him. By receptions, he's two ahead of him. Um, Waller's a crazy card. He's got crazy speed. Um, if they pick him... His power up, I think, is already like 15k, so that's gonna skyrocket. That's one of those cards that power up cards that's gonna be going for, I think, 40, 45k. It's like just crazy amounts. Like you know how like that DK Metcalf is like going for 80k sometimes, which is nuts for a power up, but it's kind of rare. I don't have too many of them. I haven't had too many of them throughout the year. He hasn't had that many crazy cards, but I remember last year when his crazy cards dropped, they were going for a ton. Same thing here. Um, yeah. I mean, I think Kelsey's more deserving. So that's why he's up here as well. Um, the Kelsey card won't be as insane. But his last card's a 90. So it's about due. His power up is going for 5.4K with a 35% increase. So yeah, I think he was going for around 3K before this, which makes a lot more sense. Um, if you can get him for that, I think you should load up. Both these cards have a crazy good chance, I believe, of being on the team of the year. The Darren Waller, I think, is a risk. But if you're going to invest in the Travis Kelsey, it's pretty low risk. And I think if they don't give him something here, they will give him something else because he was breaking records for tight ends. So it is what it is. He's going to be given something. He had a great year. Um... Yeah, the Darren Waller is more of a risk. That's your call. But if he gets a card, that's crazy. That's going to be a crazy card that everyone wants. So if you can get your hands on a few of them, I would consider it. Moving on. O-line is a crapshoot. I'm not going to try too hard. I'm just going to give you two guys that I think have a chance at left tackle. And one is Trent Williams. He hasn't had anything since the ultimate kickoff. One of the first promos. He's probably due. Um, he's a big name as well. And my second choice would be Taylor Nuon. His last card was the most feared. Uh, he's a good left tackle. He's probably due for an update. Uh, he's a big name as well. Moving on. I is a crapshoot. Don't know for sure, but it's probably a good guess that Quentin Nelson. I spelled his name wrong. How the hell do I spell his name? I ah, forget it. Oh, it's an E. So Quentin Nelson, last card, most feared, 90 overall. He's always one of the best left guard, it, and like he's considered the best left guard in the league. Um, he's always like one of the best cards in Madden when he drops. 
Um, last update was 90 overall. It's probably due that he gets a five or six upgrade. Um, only real name I could come up with. I think it's the obvious choice here. I don't know what his power up's going for, but if it's cheap, I mean, 4.5 is not too much. It's increasing because I think everyone's thinking the same thing here. Buy a few of them. If he gets an upgrade, it's going to be crazy profit for you. So, yeah. Center, I couldn't come up with a name. I don't really know. Um, you could go with like the usual like Jason Kelsey kind of picks, but I don't know. This year, it's kind of a crapshoot. I think a lot of those like big name guys are getting a little older, so I don't know. And they those teams didn't have the best years. Uh, right guard, I think there's two choices here for big names, and I'm a Cowboys fan, so Zach Martin. Don't know how he didn't get all pro. Man was going out to right tackle and not giving up sacks. He's an absolute legend. I think he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Like, absolutely best player on our team. So, I mean, I think he deserves it every year. He's only got a 91, which is kind of ridiculous. His other card was an 88 core. Give the man some love. He deserves it. So, I think he's an obvious choice here. But if not, I would go with... Brandon Scherf for the Washington football team. Um, 92 is his last card. Autumn is his Thanksgiving card. Quite a while away. He could get a card too. Uh, right tackle, same thing. Big names, I don't know. Not the best year for them. Lane Johnson, 89 is his last card. I don't know. He's a big name. He could get it. But I think more deserving would be... Ryan Ramchek, his last card was a 92, and it was a limited edition, so like, it's probably time for him to get something. Um, yeah, and his power up is 1.6k, so if you guess right, you're making a killing. All right, moving on to defense, we're gonna go strong safety. I think there's two obvious picks here. Um, I think one would be Jamal Adams because his last safety card is a 90 overall his out of position is a right outside linebacker you can't use him at safety his last card was actually a limited edition so it was super rare i think it's time for him to get a less rare card that everyone can use i believe he actually was on the team of the year last year as well so again another redo i don't know what his power up is it might be a bit more expensive yeah 9.1k but that's saying quite a bit because his power up has been expensive all year. So this is probably the absolute lowest it's been all year. If you do get him and he gets a crazy power up, this is going to be an end of the year kind of card that you're going to want to keep on your team all year, especially since sub linebackers are usually safeties this year because just the linebackers in the game don't have any change of direction and don't jump. So everyone's using safeties. So you need four of them. He's probably going to be an end of the year kind of card on most teams. He's got two different chemistries. I mean, not they're not great. Jets and Seahawks is good, but Jets are probably not a lot of people running Jets teams. But anyways, if you load up on these and he hits and people get can get him as an NAT, just watch and see how high his our up card is going to be selling for that's some crazy profit if you go on on it but again it's 9.1k so you might not want to take that risk your call i think the next one is harrison smith he's got a 93 but it's probably time for an upgrade for him he always has a good year i would say so i mean your call if you want to go in on it his Power up is probably pretty cheap. Yeah, 1.3k. It's like no risk, high reward, big name. You know, it's just probably worth it. And free safety, I can't really think of a lot of them because, I mean, safeties this year are just like not as big name as you had in the past with like Earl Thomas not being in the league anymore. So um, I'm going to go with Minka because he did get a 93 zero chill, but I mean, that's not super usable. So if you give him a 96, 97, way better. And I think he probably deserves it. Um, I would have said, 
Honey Badger, but he just got one for the playoff promo. He's a 95. He's not going to get it. And he's still in the playoffs, so he could also get a better card from there. Now, cornerbacks, <clears throat> I want to say that's kind of a toss-up. A lot of the numbers are determined by interceptions and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I think it's usually by name as well. So just going off of Madden trends, I would say Jair Alexander is probably due, and he's a bigger name, and he's got crazy speed, so people would really like that. His power up is cheap, or you, I thought he was cheap. 9.5k is actually kind of expensive. I'm surprised he's going for that much. He was going for a lot when his Halloween card came out, but that was a while ago, so I'm surprised his, his uh, power up is so high. But if you can get it for cheap, I would invest in that. Another one is Davian Howard. He's only an 86. Uh, so I think he's definitely due. He's a bigger name. So I could see him getting it. And the last one I'm putting out there is Kendall Fuller. Because Oh, there you go. For, for free safety, I guess. Uh, I got him mixed up with his brother. But anyways, uh, I guess he's a safety option, and he's due. He's only got 91. And I mean, Kyle Fuller, maybe, as well. But who knows? Uh, CBs are a little up in there and random sometimes. Middle linebacker, I just don't know. I would go with Avery. Williamson, he's due. He's got 91. He's leading the tackles uh, in the league, I believe, when I was checking. Yeah, so, I mean, by a lot, too. So, yeah, uh, not super exciting card. He has gotten some love this year. My other guess would be Jalen Smith, just because he's got a ton of tackles. Uh, and he's a big name. His card's actually really usable, so it might just be one of those things where they just give it to us because people are excited for the card. So, easy win for them. His last card was a 91 for the Autumn. Yeah, 91. So, I mean, if you want to make a usable middle linebacker, there's one. Uh, Roquan Smith would be my other guess. <clears throat> he's a 93, though. But, I mean, that was a limited edition, so something a little bit easier for everyone to get. And uh, he's a big name. He's got quite a few tackles. And Devin White just got a card. Joe Schobert, I believe, has got a couple of cards. And I don't think anyone wants a Blake Martinez, but, I mean, they might give him one a card anyway. I don't know. But I wouldn't invest in that, so it is what it is. Okay. Now, I don't really know who they would pick for a right outside linebacker. But there's quite a few intriguing options. I put Von Miller down. He probably won't get it because he didn't play. But he's probably due for a card soon. So that's just like an interesting to keep uh, thing to keep an eye on. Khalil Mack though. That would be a crazy card. He's due. His last card was a most feared. And I mean he's one of the be best uh, linebackers in the league. I think everyone knows that. Um. And yeah, 92 overall, so it is what it is. The other cards I would say here are TJ Watt. Now let's do it like this. 90 overall, come on, he needs an upgrade. Uh, I think he was up there for sacks. How do I go to sacks? Here we go, yeah, he's leading the league in sacks. So, give him a card. Uh, and then Zadarius Smith was the other one. He's not too far behind, and he actually plays that position. Uh, and he doesn't have a crazy good card either. 91. So, yeah, he's probably due. Uh, it was kind of a recent card, but, I mean, like, he just needs a better upgrade. 91's not very usable. Defensive tackle, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with that this year. So, I'm just not going to take a guess. That's too much of a mess for me to figure out. I think Miles Garrett, though, for left end, would be a good choice. He's only got an 89. They were going to give him a Christmas card if he won the snowball fight thing. He didn't. 
So I think they've wanted to give him a card, and I think this is a good opportunity to because, I mean, he's a big name. And he had 12 sacks. So you got to think, like, these guys are all playing different positions too, right? So he's not up against a lot of these guys. So, yeah. And then the last guy, I think Joey Bosa. Um, did he get hurt? I was just thinking Joey Bosa just because he's a big name. And his last card was 92. So, he might be a wild card in there. I don't know. And I think Aaron Donald is up. I think they're going to give him another 87 just like they did last year. His last card was a 92 most feared. He's definitely due. Best defender in the league. Got 13 and a half sacks, so he's tied for second in sacks. Give him a card. Rams are in the playoffs, so he's not going to get a card from one of those promos. So, it is what it is. That's the list, guys. Mind you, obviously some of these cards are a little bit more expensive, and they're like pretty popular guesses at this point. So the sooner you do this, and you do it when... Um, a lot of these cards are up for cheaper during the weekend just because people are ripping so many packs. I think you can get them for a pretty decent amount. And when they get announced and the promo starts, you can sell them off of hype for crazy amounts. So, I mean, you sell them when you think you're ready to sell them. But if they go up, I don't know, 5K, start thinking about it. I don't know how to... I don't know what the best advice is because sometimes they go up most off the announce video, announcement video when they start teasing which players are dropping on uh, Good Morning Madden, the prices skyrocket. But then some other times it's right when the cards first drop, people see how you can get them and whatnot, and that's when the cards prices start going. So you need to be on top of the market. Uh, just kind of watch the way it's trending. Don't hold on to them for too long. If you hold on to them for a couple of days after the promo started, I'm going to assume the prices are going to go down. So sell when you're comfortable, but don't wait too long because at that point it becomes your fault and you just don't want to get rid of them because you aren't making what you expected to make for the time that you've put into it. So just be aware of that. Try to watch the market. You will make profit off this, guaranteed. If, we, if you hit the cards right then you will make profit if not hold on to them for a little longer like i said some of these cards are due for upgrades and they will get upgrades the madden season's not done so a lot of these guys are still in the playoffs so there's going to be cards coming out um but yeah before this uh announcement and you got to think on monday i think they're going to all be revealed so you're going to want to do this this weekend but yeah i mean i'm not saying all these cards will get them or 100% will get them, but I think these are a uh, good guess based on the trends of Madden and the stats that these players have gotten this year and how popular they are. So, I hope this video was useful to you guys. Um, I spent quite a bit of time thinking about it and going through websites and stuff, looking at trends and stats and whatnot. So, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it if you're new to the channel, you'd consider subscribing to help the channel grow. And until next time, guys, have a good one.